Oh, 2012 releases. There's been so many. I don't know what to review next once again. Clone? Have there been more 2012 releases this year? Yeah, the new Fear Factory album, The Industrialist. What? Another Fear Factory album? The Industrialist? Yeah. You can listen to it, and then you can do an album review on it. Oh, thanks, Clone. I appreciate that. So, okay, let's get on with it. What's up, Metalheads? It's the Strong Boys 19 here, and I'm back to do another album review for Metal Albums once again. So, this is my album review from the band named Fear Factory and I'm going to be reviewing the band's 8th studio album entitled The Industrialist. Now this album got released yesterday in the US June the 5th this year and I listened to the whole album at music.aol.com at the listening party section and I listened to the whole album from there and uh, it is a really, really good Fear Factory album. It's not as good as the other albums from this band, in my opinion. You know, uh, Demanufacture and Digimortal and Obsolete, etc. But, in the, but the Industrialist is still a really cool album. This album has been packed with a lot of really really good creativity of industrial metal once again just like the other albums throughout their whole career so uh, if you haven't listened to the industrialist I suggest that all of you guys should definitely check it out if you are a fanatic of different metal bands that have been packed with different industrial stuff and uh, I really, really enjoyed this album all the way through. And this album has uh, 10 tracks. And uh, there is the deluxe edition and the Japanese edition. And uh, my favorite tracks on this album are The Industrialist, Recharger, New Messiah, uh, Depraved Mind Murder, Virus of Faith, Difference Engine, and... Uh, Disassemble. The band just came back after their predecessor album, Mechanize, which came out in 2010. There's been a lot of really cool, awesome metal elements throughout this whole album, and the industrial parts are really cool and creative as well. And there has been some really cool, aggressive parts in the verses and the... Uh, the middle parts and some of the choruses as well some of the choruses are really cool with the uh, the soft clean vocals and uh, I don't actually mind the band doing some soft parts and uh, the choruses the soft choruses on this album are just really catchy this whole creativity of the band's music for this album has been really well done and uh, you get to hear Burton C. Bell doing the vocals of his clean vocals and his aggressive shouting vocals and uh, even the guitarist Dino Cazares from the band and Divine Heresy and Roadrunner United I don't know why a lot of people really bash on Dino because in my opinion, Dino is a very good metal guitarist and he just creates some really cool music throughout this band and Divine Heresy and Road Run United. And there's been a lot of guitar riffs on this album that have been, you know, advanced and creative. And Dino is such a really cool guitarist and he's one of my favorite metal guitarists just like all of the other ones. So, um, the drumming is really cool as well, and uh, it's done by um, John Sankey, 
and uh, his drumming really reminded me of uh, the drumming from Raymond who used to be in the band but then he left the band in 2008 his drumming has a lot of really good beats some fast double bass beats and blast beats etc well uh, John's drumming is like that in this album but uh, Raymond's drumming is in my opinion a lot better but the drumming for this album has been really cool Dino Cazares also did the bass guitar for this album and he did a really good job on the bass guitar as well just like the guitar work and um, Reese Fulber is the producer for this album and Fear Factory also um, Greg really did the mixing and Anthony Clarkson did the artwork and the artwork is really cool as well and it's a bit similar to uh, the albums uh, Mechanize and um, the other ones Archetype and Transgression so the artwork is really really cool just like the other artwork from this band and uh, Joey Blush did the additional programming also Dino, John and Reese did the programming for this album so this whole album is really really cool and the music is aggressive at a few parts and the choruses are you know catchy like I said with the uh, the clean vocals from Burton and uh, it's just a really cool album from start to finish there's been a few things that kinda let me down a little bit for this album like the last track um, Human Augmentation that one is a pretty weak way to end off the whole album so that's all I've got to say for Fear Factory's new album The Industrialist and I'm gonna give the album 4.5 out of 5 stars and if you are a big metal fanatic definitely pick up this album so that's all I've got to say so thanks for watching and there's going to be more album reviews really soon and other videos rock on guys and keep it metal